tonight, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's trip to North Korea apparently going, quote, as badly as it could have gone. Now, this is according to a source with direct knowledge of the discussions between Pompeo and the North Koreans. That source telling our Michelle Kaczynski that, quote, the North Koreans were just messing around, not serious about moving forward. Pompeo had, of course, been promised a meeting directly with Kim Jong-un. That did not happen. And then Pompeo actually, you know, was, was bringing a present. He was bringing the Rocket Man CD from Elton John to give to Kim personally, I suppose to be a light moment. Well, he didn't meet Kim, so he brought it back to the U.S. Out front now, Steve Cortez, a member of the president's 2020 re-elect advisory council, and Sam Vinograd, former senior advisor to President Obama's National Security Council. So, Sam, let me start with you. Uh, the reporting here from our Michelle Kaczynski, quote, the trip went as badly as it could have gone. It's a pretty stunning thing uh, to tell a reporter. What do you make of it? Well, I don't think anyone disagrees with that assessment. Even the North Koreans said that the trip was a disaster. They called it cancerous and uh, regrettable. But it's not surprising to me that Kim Jong-un didn't agree to meet with Secretary Pompeo. I think that unfortunately, because President Trump himself met with Kim Jong-un just a few weeks ago, I don't think that Kim Jong-un views Secretary Pompeo as overly empowered anymore. And I think they're going to keep messing around. They're going to keep wasting time and not actually doing anything while the United States falls behind security-wise. We've stopped our joint military exercises. We haven't levied any additional sanctions. And remember, every day that goes by, the North Korean program is actually advancing. They've frozen nothing. I mean, Steve, this is the question, right? Pompeo came back with the Rocket Man CD, and I know people can kind of laugh and say whatever, but obviously he brought it because he thought it would be a light moment. He expected to see Kim personally. He didn't get to. Instead, uh, Kim was, you know, I don't know, there were pictures of him coming out in khakis or something. Maybe he was on a potato farm. I'm not even sure. Did the administration get played? Uh, Aaron, they did not get played. Look, there's a lot of unknowns here. We, we don't know if North Korea is serious about disarmament, about denuclearizing the peninsula. We certainly hope they are, and we're putting maximum pressure on them, something which was not done in the last administration or previous administrations to North Korea. But what is known is that since the maximum pressure has been exerted, he has stopped lobbing missiles into the Pacific Ocean. That is a great thing uh, for Japan, for the U.S., for Hawaii. Uh, what is also known, he returned our hostages. He's agreed to return remains of war dead from Korea. So those are the knowns. Those are achievements. Uh, do we have the big, you know, magnificent achievement of denuclearization? We're not sure yet, no, Steve, but we're sure a lot further well, along than we were. Well, the president said we did, though, right? I just point out, you know, the kind of the, rea the realistic view of this, right? Obama was able to free many more hostages from North Korea than Trump, and Obama didn't succeed in anything to do with denuclearization. So in and of itself, that wouldn't mean anything. In and of itself, promising to denuclearize has historically meant nothing from North Korea. They, they promised okay. to do it, and, and within a year, again and again and again, he's not shooting missiles. missiles. That Pictures means something. that have come out showing since the meeting in Singapore, they've expanded some facilities. So why do you say we don't know whether they're serious? Because he's not shooting missiles right now. And that is a huge victory in but and of itself. But he doesn't have to shoot I'm not missiles saying anymore, permanent. does he? We're, we're dealing with, here's the thing, we're not, we're, we're not negotiating with Italy or with Britain. We're negotiating with the most rogue regime on the planet. So it's not surprising uh, that there's going to be ups and downs in this relationship. But here's the other thing I would point out, by the way. You're relying <laughs> on an unnamed source who told CNN XYZ. You're relying on the, on the North Korean foreign ministry. Mike Pompeo, uh, who I choose to believe, former congressman, West Point graduate, secretary of state, he says great progress was made. So I choose to believe his version of what happened in North Korea, and we will see what happens from here. I'm, I'm you hopeful, don't find it troubling that the secretary of state goes skeptical. to North Korea with a, for a meeting for Kim Jong-un who doesn't show up for the meeting? That doesn't, doesn't raise a red flag? It doesn't trouble me because he said he himself, Secretary Pompeo, said great progress was made, and I take his word before I take some unnamed source and before I take the North Korean foreign ministry's assessment. Mm -hmm. Sam, I'll give you the final word. I think that we have to point out that the president, Steve, are you taking the president's word or Secretary Pompeo's? The president tweeted that the threat from North Korea Both. is gone. He declared mission accomplished. So we're not listening to the president. We're listening to Secretary Pompeo. He didn't Pompeo. say mission accomplished. He said the threat from North Korea is gone. That's in a tweet. We can we can pull it up if you like. So are we listening to the president it, it, of the United it, it, States? And right now, or Secretary right now it is Pompeo gone. Or the right North now it Koreans. is gone. He is, not, is not, firing not firing missiles. Miss He's not firing maybe missiles you need to into look the ocean. Into, maybe right now it's gone. Mean weapon. Weapon. So the threat is not gone. That's an absurd thing to say. He hasn't destroyed a single weapon. You're talking about intent, which is impossible to measure. But in terms of his actual ability, the threat has not changed.
You know, it's amazing to me, by the way, when the president goes and does something that is monumental, and it really is monumental, the fact that that he, for now, I, again, I'm not promising what he'll do tomorrow, right, Kim Jong-un, he's crazy. Who knows what he'll do tomorrow? But for now, he's acting like a responsible leader. You cannot give the president credit even for I, that, I, that's for the not fact true. that our soldiers in Korea... Credit. I will give the president credit for the fact okay, well, I totally then please agree do. that missiles are not flying. So in the short term, the threat from North Korea in the short term and that's a massive has been win. contained. It is a win. It's a win for Japan. It's a win for the United States. But the, the nuclear right. threat from North Korea is not contained. It's continuing. And our secretary of state just went and right. gave the North Koreans a gift, a CD. And the gift that they gave us was public humiliation and sending him home empty handed yeah. while they continue to proliferate weapons. That's not what he says. That's not what he says. Right. And I believe Mike Pompeo before I believe an unnamed source telling CNN a bunch of, uh, you know, their version of events. And before I believe well, he's the North certainly Korean a man regime. of integrity. And the fact is, missiles aren't do, flying. Which is All we know is what we know is missiles are flying. Right. Which is true for almost all the days during which they eventually did fly. All right. Thank you very much. Both of you. I appreciate your time.